Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 8 of Darwell20's Let's Play series. Where today, uh, I'm planning to use la uh, laser I.O. to sort items. That's the plan. So you can see I prepared a bunch of uh, cards and, and lasers and stuff, and as I'm playing through it, I'm getting a feel for, like, you know, some of the pros and cons, the things in the mod, so I can t work on them. Uh, definitely feel like I need to find a better way to store all these item cards. There's just a lot of them that I'm going to need. <laughs> it's going to get real annoying real quick when I have a lot of them that I need to carry around. So definitely some kind of pouch or card stock or something where I can store all those in a single item in my inventory would be super nice. Uh, and then we can kind of, like, insert and extract them as needed. So that's something that's going to have to be a to-do. Um, in addition to that, right, what I'd like to do is uh, today kind of start working on building out with this thing and keeping an eye to make sure that there's no dupe and or item loss bugs because, like I said, this is an alpha still and it's still being worked on. So uh, let's figure it out. So effectively what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a basic sorting system that will functionally... Be able to sort items into their respective chests okay uh and what i'm thinking is maybe the initial sort chest will be actually right here-ish in this corner um and if i'm not mistaken that actually might not need any connectors if i'm if i'm right and i did go mining between episodes so hence mining laser oh do you not do you not do the thing okay you don't do the thing all right so we want to link this guy to here Good, eight blocks. And then you to you, you to you. Now, technically, it doesn't matter. You don't have to link it like this. You could have linked the first one to all the others. You could you could really build your links. The linking doesn't really matter. It just, they're connected and it makes one giant network. So how you link them doesn't matter. I could have linked from here all the way over to here and, and all the others. Like this one could have been connected to all of them. Doesn't really matter. Um, there's no item rendering between. All the laser rendering does is show you that there's a connection there. It does not indicate anything beyond, hey, there's a connection here. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're building stuff out, right? So then my cobble deep slate is my floor. Sweet. Now, if you have trouble accessing the right side here, make sure that, you know, you could always hit this guy and then change it to the upside and manage that. So this is going to be our extract chest, okay? Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter with cards. Okay, so I'm probably going to need a healthy amount of tag filters, if I'm not mistaken. And I, you know what would be a good time right now? Let's get our sugar cane going. Um, and do we have sand? We do have sand. You know what I'm going to make? Snad. Snad is the best. Uh, so those of you who may or may not know the history of Snad, it's a cool mod. Um, back in the, was it like 17-ish era of Minecraft? There was a, there was a not too uncommon misconception about sugarcane and how it grows. Uh, a lot of people were of the opinion and mistaken belief that sugarcane grows faster on sand than it does on dirt. And that is not the case. Um, it does need to be adjacent to water, as we know, uh, but it doesn't really matter uh, if it's on sand or dirt. Uh, but a lot of people kept saying, like, oh, yeah, you got to put your sugarcane on sand, otherwise it'll, you know, it'll grows faster. No, not true. But it was such a popular theory and so misconceptioned that somebody made a mod to make that the case. And they called it Snad. And what Snad does is it basically grows sugarcane and cactus faster uh, than, than, um, than, than grass does. Or regular sand, for that matter. So for now, let's just have a termination endpoint here. And we're probably going to want, let's see, one, two, that sound cool, more of these Snads. And that should be enough for that. I like that. And then let's just trash some of this extra junk that we don't need. Almost trashed my sugar cane, and that would have been a bad time. So remember, just like with real sand, or, or, or with real, you know, whatever you planted on for real, it needs to be next to water. So if we do that, and then we do that, and we do that. Boom, boom. Sweet. Oh my goodness, that was fast. Holy cow. Didn't expect it to be that fast, but I'll take it. Wow, wow, okay. Yeah, no, I'm on board. <laughs> Snad is not usually this fast, but okay. <laughs> no complaints. No complaints at all. Um, do I have my building gadget handy? I think I do. 
All right, so I got the whole snad area cleaned up and I've got enough sugar cane now at least to make a few more pieces of paper. And the reason I wanted more paper is I have a feeling I'm gonna need more tag filters. Just a gut that tells me that's gonna be a thing. So I've got one or two extra nodes. I've got some extra connectors if I need them. I may not need them at all. Let's start setting up the filtering system, right? So each one of these blocks is going to get, and we're only gonna use one channel for now. I don't think we need multiple channels too much. Um, but each one of these blocks is going to get a connector, which will be um, in insert mode. And we're going to want to filter it to specify what kinds of items are allowed to go into this block. Now, we might need multiple filters or multiple rules, but luckily we've got nine slots for cards. So we can do a mix of tag filter on one card and, you know, basic filter on another. So step one is going to be let's get all this stuff in here. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prioritize it so that all of the nodes have the same priority, okay? But the last one, which is going to be the miscellaneous junk chest, uh, will have a lower priority than any of the others, right? And by the way, this goes down as far as 4096, so you can go pretty low and high on the priority system. That's as, I just it's an arbitrary-ish number, so. But yeah, let's go to like negative 10 and that should be fine. Sweet. All right, so you're going to insert, right, in, in, in all these guys, and everybody's channel is going to be white. So if we look, you know, a little bit closely, we can see all the lasers are, are rendering and doing their job. Nice. Yeah, you always want to double check. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to add our filters, right? So um, I don't want to set this guy to extract just yet. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the miscellaneous junk filter here for a minute and test out getting things working the way I want. So first off, I know, for example, this is going to be metals and ores, right? So the first thing I'm going to configure here is a tag filter. And the tag filter is going to have things like that. So... Um, what I want to put on the tag filter is if I put an ingot in there, I can just do forge ingots and add that. Cool. These are a bunch of other kinds of, of tags that items get. We're not worried about any of those. And notice here that this item that's going in there doesn't actually go in there. It's a stack of five. It, it's just a ghost slot, so it doesn't actually use up the item. Um, you'll also notice that when you close the UI, it just completely removes that item up there, So, it, which is fine because it's a ghost. It's not real. Um, so I probably want forged nuggets to go in here and that should be fine. And then, uh, probably forge ores can go in here for now, for now. Um, and then I'm going to add that tag filter, uh, to this dude, right? So tag filter go in there. By the way, when you're in this UI, you can right click the tag filter to access it and modify it from there. Cool. And there's also an allow versus uh, deny list. So in allow mode, it says I'm allowed to take these items. In deny mode, it's not allowed to take those items. So keep that in mind. Um, so that's neat. That's what's up. So tag filter is configured for that guy. And then over here, right, we're going to want something similar, but we want to do uh, dusts and gems, right? So let's get, um, you know, like lapis and diamond and see what kind of... Uh, of, of things are on there, right? Quartz, maybe if we have that, should go in there. So if we make another tag filter, and then we put diamonds, right? So we want forged gems, is what we want. Lapis, that's a type of gem, but it already has forged gems on it, so I think we're good there. Forged dusts, that'll be like your quartz and glowstone stuff. And what's quartz have on it? Quartz is probably also gems. Okay, so that should work. That should be cool. So dusts and gems will be the type of filtering that we do on this guy. And notice here also that when you hold shift, it shows you the different types of items that can go into the... Isn't that cool? I like that. I had some fun with this one. Let me tell you guys, I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh, so that that's pretty neat, right? Uh, this is going to be mob drops. Um, so this one, I'm not sure if tag versus basic filter is going to be the way to go, but I, we could see... Um, I'm not even sure what tags exist on these guys. So let's make another tag filter and figure out like what tags exist on these items, right? So is this like some kind of... So there's uh, Forge Raw Pork. Forge Foods Meat Raw. Okay, that's kind of cool. I could throw that in there as a, as a tag filter. Uh, what else do we have that, you know, would be cool to put in this chest? Um, arrows, bones, leather... Uh, bone meal, wool, string, eye, all these things, gunpowder, are there, are there, is there like a common tag for just 
you know, mob drops. I don't know that there is. So what I'll probably wind up needing to do um, is forge string. Sure, why not? Forge wools. Yeah, all the wool. Really? Bone meal has the forge meets raw tag on it? That Oh, no, it doesn't have any tags. That's why. Okay, yeah, no, that makes more sense. Uh, forge leather? Sure, we'll add that. Uh, forge bones? Yeah, that works. And arrows? Sure. Put them all in there. And we'll probably have to add... What I'll probably wind up doing is having a second card in here that will have a uh, basic filter in it that adds any other types that we will need. Cool. All right, this is gonna be mod specific, probably just miscellaneous mod junk. And then this will be other miscellaneous, just other junk. So that should be for now. If I came to this guy and I wanted to, I wanna see what tags might make sense on, for example, you should be dirt and stone, wood, glass, planks, that kind of stuff, right? Um, Basically, anything that's a building material should go in here. Uh, so, like, if we did this, forge cobblestone? Yeah, pretty much all cobble can make its way into there. Minecraft planks. Minecraft logs. Glass. Dirt. Anything that's dirt or dirt-like. Um, obsidian can make its way in there. Fences can probably make their way in there, that kind of thing, right? And we'll go with that as a tag filter for that. So that's pretty good. This guy has no filter. He's supposed to be, oh yeah, he's supposed to be crops and stuff. I think that should also be a tag filter. I think tag filters are going to be like the best way to go for a lot of this, right? But you should have things like apples and berries and seeds uh, and wheat and potatoes. Uh, so let's. I'm assuming that there's just like generic you know, so saplings can go in here. Um, crops, all crops can go in here. Um, I don't know that we need to, we'll see about that. Fruits slash berry. Is there a forge fruits? You can type in here, by the way. I thought. All right, I'm going to say for now, maybe don't type into that tag builder because it totally crashed. <laughs> but forge crops is what we're doing. Uh, forge grain. Yeah, that sounds like a good one to go with. Oh, I don't want to do that. If you shift click the plus, it adds all the tags. And you can hit the clear button to clear them all if you want. So yeah, just no. Uh, yeah, minus that. So we want, uh, you can shift click the letter, the words too. So shift click forge crops and it adds it. Uh, forge grain, forge seeds. Fruits, I'm going to hold off on that thing. I think that's enough for now. Yeah, we'll play it safe. I have to go fix another bug. See, that's why I do things. We find bugs. Cool. All right, so you've got filters. You've got filters. You've got a filter, right? Yep, you've got a filter. By the way, you can hold shift on the filter itself to see what is in there sometimes, depending on if it's... I don't think I did that with tag filters yet, but for regular filters, you can. So pretty much all of these got a tag filter, except for you two. Um... So I would like you to be a lower priority than the others because you don't have a filter yet. In fact, I might even just throw a regular filter on you. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do, let's just do, uh, you can have a, this filter with, with allow mode on and then it won't let anything in here in theory, right? So in theory, if I add my extract card here, we should be good to go to see things start extracting. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set you to extract mode and I'm gonna give you a full, Full, full suite of upgrades, right? And I'm gonna set you to, for now, extract every 10 ticks, uh, but a full stack. So in theory, this should start sorting. And boy, I really hope this works. I have no idea. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this chest because I wanna make sure that like no items get voided by mistake because I wrote this mod and I don't trust it. <laughs> and I trust that there's bugs, let's put it that way. Um, so if I, plop this in here, he should start extracting right away. Only things that he can extract. Sweet. That's kind of working. Look at it go. That is awesome. That is super cool. All right. And these are the things that didn't fit. All righty then. And if we check, like, you know, most of that stuff should have made its way to where it belongs, right? Um, I don't think we had any crops or grains in there but all our nuggets yeah that looks pretty cool we had four bronze yes that's correct we had three tin 
That is correct. We had two ancient debris. We had 19 copper. We had 62 gold. Uh, we had a cobalt. We had a little bit of nuggets, I think. I hesitate to say this may have worked. Uh, I'm, I'm excited because my mod works pretty well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six stacks plus eight, which is what we got here. Uh, we had two stacks and 31 lapis. Wow, everything worked well. I'm, I'm a little surprised. I was, I was expecting something bad to happen. But yeah, no, it looks like it sorted correctly here. Uh, mob drops landed. I don't think we really had much of those. And then because I didn't allow... Uh, this guy to receive anything yet. He doesn't have an insert card. Nothing made its way to him. So now let's figure out the things that we didn't get, right? Uh, so if I wanted you to hold... Oh, dimensional shards don't have any tags. Good to know. So we're gonna have to have a dedicated uh, basic filter for them to land in there. I'm assuming these guys are similar. Um, and fans of the Dire 20 series may know that spiders on my roof is not an uncommon thing. Do you have tags? You don't either. Okay, cool. So here's what we're gonna do for that. You ready? I'm going to set up uh, in here a basic filter for you. You will also insert on white, but with a basic filter. Uh, and we're going to do you, you, you probably want flint and coal in there. And coal and flint should have tags, I would imagine. And then these guys as well. So let's check these for tags first, and then we'll add them to the, uh, to the list otherwise. No, I don't want that. Coal? Yeah, Minecraft coals. We'll add Minecraft coals. Certus Quartz. Yeah, we'll add that. It's funny that Certus Quartz dust doesn't maybe have the Forge Dusts tag on it. Do you not have gems either? I would have to... What I would have to do is get a new blank tag and see. Do you not have... Yeah, you have Forge Gems Certus Quartz, but you don't have Forge Gems as a tag. That's interesting. So by doing that, he should have... Now he's doing all that stuff. Perfect. Now Flint and Dimensional Shards and these guys still need to be managed, right? So let's put um, <clears throat> in here, right, we can modify the basic filter to include these things. And now my chest should be clearing those out. Nice. Cool. That's pretty neat. All right, I'll take it. That's not bad at all. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, cool. And then uh, what else do we need to organize here? Uh, we probably need raw ore, which I'm hoping has a tag. <clears throat> For now, I'm going to add it to the ingots chest. But in the future, we're going to change it so that this ore goes and gets processed somewhere. But let's see. Do, do these things have forge raw materials? So if I add that, are you going to take all those out? Because that would be awesome. It does look like you are doing that. Sweet. And again, this can be 100% faster. It can be per tick. I pro it's probably overpowered. Is it overpowered? It's definitely. It's definitely overpowered, right? Just checking. Um, and then what about you guys? Viridium and all this stuff. Do you guys have tags or anything? We've also got fluorite, which should probably... I'm assuming you don't have a tag fluorite. Or if you do, it's just gems fluorite, not gems. Okay, so then I'm going to add you to the this guy list. And then fluorite should start filling up this chest. Nice. Now, how about you guys? You guys are like a weird corner case. So what I'll probably do, let's add you to the modded junk chest. And resonating ore, I assume you don't have a tag, right? Eh, just deep resonant ore. Maybe I'll throw that in here. Well, no, that's annoying because, yeah, that's annoying. I don't want to do that. I'm going to put, I'm going to put, I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put you, you, and you, and you. Cool. All right. How cool is that? Right? That's neat. I like this. I like this a lot. So we've got this pretty well in hand at this point. So now what we should be able to do is we can look here and see that, you know, this guy, did I not even put a card in him? That's what I did, right? So let's get a card in him now so that he's ready to accept miscellaneous junk. So with no filter at all, he'll take whatever. Um, but I thought I put a card in him already. Maybe I took it out. Yeah, didn't I set it to priority negative 10? I'm going to have to review the footage there. I could have sworn I already had one in here. Either I found a bug or I took the card out and forgot I did that. I forget. Yeah, I think I took it out because didn't I say, like, I don't want anything to go in there? That's probably what happened. It's probably what happened. And just so I'm clear. Uh, yeah, see, this one's priority negative 10. I turned this card into the extract card. Got it. 
there's your there's your problem so by the way you can filter on extract as well the same exact rules would apply uh, but we don't want to filter on extract we want to extract everything and then have it go where they belong so now um, if I start just throwing things into this chest pretty much everything that doesn't have a destination is gonna make its way uh, into you know something like this I'm starting to think I might want a mod based filter and just like hey if it's from the same mod put it all in this chest that would probably be cool I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to add that uh, I'm gonna add that to my notes as hey go make a mod based filter that would be cool so now in theory I should kind of be able to like drop all this junk into this chest and it should all sort for the most part pretty well now in fairness most of it's gonna sort into the miscellaneous junk chest which is this one uh, and as you can see that's exactly what it did um, which is fine I'm cool with that all right uh, but that seems cool to me so far I think I think this works right so now let's test with like a quick and dirty rundown to do some mining so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go mine off camera for a minute where did I put my mining laser oh there it is sweet and uh, I will be back in a moment once I finished mining then when I'm done what I want to do is just shift click this and it'll sort everything wouldn't that be awesome I think that would be awesome and because if you don't see it on camera I know many people will be upset but look I filled in the floor all right off to mine be right back what is this that i found underground mining it's like a giant mine shaft that goes straight down that's not vanilla world gen is it and it's like dripstone at the bottom what it looks like a, a cave that's like combined dripstone with like a mine shaft like an abandoned mine shaft thing but i don't remember abandoned mine shafts being that like having a ladder like that Am I crazy? It's neat though, right? Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. Look, dripstone on top of rails. <laughs> Is this vanilla? I don't even know. I have no idea. Hey, look, there's there's like a crafting table. That's neat. Oh, a loot chest. Oh my goodness, there's cool stuff in here. Weighted minigun ammo. I mean, okay, if you say so. Ooh, suspicious stew. I'm gonna need that. Compressed iron chest plate. That's neat. Uh, compressed stone. None of this is particularly exciting, but you know, if I drop it on the ground, it'll go into my thing. What about you? Anything good in there? Logistics core. More of that ammo piercing stuff. Arachne's weaving projectile split to snare extended time from Ars Nouveau. That sounds cool. Yeah, nothing else in here jumps out at me as being like, oh, that's awesome. I need that. Okay, back to mining. I don't know what this is, but I'm taking it because it glows. Is that fair? Ooh, an overgrowth seed. Those are only found in, in chests like this. That's neat. Oh, that's neat too. I'll take that. I don't know. We'll see. Have we talked about how convenient it is to be able to mine from a long distance away? Because, I mean, I'm a fan. Also, the fact that it lights up the area for you a little bit too. Yeah. It's the best. I do, I do enjoy. What do we got here? Uh, I think I heard uh, those little annoying bug things. Yep, I hate you guys. I can't hit you, that's why I hate you. Alright, I'm leaving you alone. Back to mining! Alright, we are back, we are home, we are hungry from all that mining. Let's deposit, you ready? All the stuff from our tier 3 storage unit, of which we got quite a few things, into here. And then it should all sort. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna sort all your junk. All the junk that I collected. We'll see if Scoria has any tags. I don't know. I only work here. And then I have a few pieces of junk in my backpack here as well that I threw away. Yeah, that seems like about it, right? These are some of the extra things I collected from those chests. 
cool. Look, Mossy made its way over here. What kind of stuff landed in here? This is what I usually do once I have a sorting chest. Is like, let's look at what made its way over to here. What belongs? Uh, so like these blocks should probably be going in the building materials chest and all the others kind of fit. Sulfur could probably fit in another chest as well. But everything else is pretty appropriate in here, right? So if we went to our dusts and gems chest, you know, maybe sulfur would have gone in here if it wasn't full. That's possible. That's possible. So let's make an iron to gold chest upgrade real quick. Would sulfur have gone in there if not for full? It would have. Okay, cool. Nice. That's neat. I like that. Okay. Uh, cool, cool, cool. And then you guys can get resorted and you should have landed in here somewhere. Yep. Nice. Cool. So then you need to get um, tags for... Do you have any tags, Scoria? You do not. How about mossy cobblestone? Stone bricks. Yeah, that works. I'm assuming you also have stone bricks. Like you both do. Yep. And then the scoria we could just add as like a dedicated thing or something. I might wind up adding scoria to my uh, tier 2 storage unit here. But this thing's pretty full. So maybe I want to upgrade him. What was tier 3 again? Was it a couple of diamonds? And a couple of chests and a couple of pistons? I can afford that. The only problem is, is I know which one's which because one's tier 3 and one's tier 4. What if I wanted to make you tier 4? Oh no, that's expensive. Uh, I might keep them this way and either replace something in here with scoria or do something else. I will have to figure out what. Yeah, I don't want to upgrade him only because maybe I'll rename him in an anvil or something. We'll see. I'll figure it out. All right. So it's getting pretty dark and monstery out there. I think I want to make something real quick. And then I have to decide what I'm going to do for tech because I need to get into power gen and I need to get into technical stuff. Um, and I don't know what I want to do just yet for that. But what I would like to make is a feral flare lantern. These things are the best. Uh, I usually stick them, like, right in the middle of my little, you know, cubey area here. And what they do is, I'm going to remove all my torches, because I don't need them no more, is after this is placed. Uh, Feral Fire Lanterns will light up a very large area. Um, Minecraft does not support having torches brighter than 14, which is the, the number. I think it is, or 15, I don't know. The point is, Minecraft doesn't let you have torches that are brighter than torches. It's about as bright as you can get. Uh, or glowstone, I guess. Uh, but what you can do is cheese it and place invisible blocks that you player can walk through but not see that give off light. And that's basically my understanding of how Pharo Flare Lanterns work. So you place that down and what'll happen is, see how light is showing up? It's literally just placing invisible blocks around the area and lighting it up for you. Isn't that the best? It is the best. Love Pharo Flare Lantern. That's from a mod called Torchmaster, which has a bunch of other neat things, including, um, a dread lamp that prevents natural spawning of passive animals, uh, or uh, a mega torch which prevents natural spawning of hostile mobs in a bigger radius around the torch. So you can either light things up with the feral flare lantern, or you can use a mega torch to just prevent mob spawns in a big area. Probably gonna do both. Um, what would this guy be? So diamond, two gold, some wood, and some torches. Not a problem. I got that. I got that. Not a problem. Was it wood? Wood. Yeah, I think it is. So if we made one of these guys with two gold blocks, these are a little expensive, but you know, it prevents mob spawns in a big area. Why wouldn't you want to do that exactly? And now mobs should not be able to spawn pretty much anywhere, I would think, uh, nearby. Obviously there's a bunch of mobs already nearby, but new mobs should not be able to spawn near my base at this point. Uh, the lighting would help from the Feral Flare Lantern, but I think having the Mega Torch just ensures that you're in a good place, right? So that's cool. So what should we do for tech? Uh, let me look through the list of tech mods, and then I will answer that question when we come back in a minute. All right, so I'm basically deciding whether I want to start with Mechanism or Thermal, uh, and I'm choosing Thermal. And the reason for that is I will probably wind up doing both in the long run because I like to show all mods in my mod pack when I can. So, and I feel like if I start with mechanism, then I probably won't have a lot of reason to use thermal. So I'd like to start with thermal, do a bunch with it. And then later on, mechanism's a more powerful mod. We will use that more later on in the end game. And then we'll have reasons to get into it because we're probably gonna wanna do like all the high tech mechanism stuff. So what I'm gonna say is let's start with thermal uh, and kind of go from there. So. Going to have to come back next episode, obviously, but what I would like to start with is making a few things. Um, we're going to need 
to make the following machines. Uh, I'm gonna want some kind of power gen. We'll probably start with Sterling Dynamos, which basically run off fuel. So nothing too surprising there. So anything wood, coal, etc. cetera. Uh, but then we're gonna quickly upgrade to a Magmatic Dynamo that burns lava for fuel. Uh, once we have some basic fuel and, and ability to transport items around, uh, we can get into making a redstone furnace, uh, which will you know basically be a smelter for us that runs off power, and a pulverizer, which is also super cool because it'll give us uh, that 1.3% uh, of, of resources, right? So we'll get more resources um, from, from stuff. It'll be the same as what we have outside in our smelter, but without nuggets, <laughs> uh, because instead of getting one and a third, you basically have a 33% chance to get an extra dust. So you put, you know, a single gold in there, you might get two gold from it, you might get one, it's only a 33% chance that you'll get two. So in the end, it all balances out and becomes about one and a third, but uh, you don't have extra nuggets laying around, which I think is going to be really nice. Uh, the other thing we'll probably need to get pretty early on is the induction smelter. That usually makes things easier, because if I'm not mistaken, uh, sterling dynamos, or, or magmatic dynamos for that matter, are going to need invar, which will need uh, some form of nickel. So we're gonna need some nickel that we're gonna have to find. Do I have nickel yet? Have I found any of that uh, thus far? It would be in here, would it not? We've got a very tiny amount of nickel. So we're gonna have to find more nickel is what I'm hearing. Yes, we're gonna absolutely have to find more nickel. Uh, there might be a way to, to get lucky and find more of it. Uh, let's see, nickel, crushed nickel ore, eh, it's all good. Uh, where's that nickel dust? So if I looked at the, if I looked at the magmatic dynamo again what we'll see is that uh invar comes from there's only something called nickel grit that's it that's your forge dusts uh and that will come from either a macerator or a pulverizer or something along those lines okay good to know is there a, a cooler way centrifugal separator eh, that's not what i want yeah we might have to see uh besides that this guy can smelt into ingots, which we can get from what? Eh, pretty much what you would expect. All right, good to know. Let's see. Iron has a chance. It has a 20% chance, which is boostable. If we got, if we silk touched our iron ore, there's a 20% chance. If we threw it in an induction smelter, we might be able to get this stuff. Um, so we'll see. For now, wrapping up point, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time to start on tech. And then we're gonna use uh, laser IO here to route um, ores that need to be processed into ore processing facilities. The one thing I will note is we have a lot of copper. I don't know that we need that much copper. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do about that. But most of the ores we're gonna to wanna to start processing. But nickel is definitely a rare one. Uh, what else it seems pretty rare? Silver seems pretty rare. We're gonna to have to look at nickel because that seems like too rare. I'm gonna look into it. We'll be back. For now, Dial Twice signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.